Okay, welcome back guys. So now that I gave you guys a short introduction to Redux, um, I want to show you something here. Um, if I open my Chrome developer tools, okay, if I open this up, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see this tab here called Redux, okay? Uh, by default, Chrome does not have this built, it does not have this in here. Okay, so what we're gonna need is, you're gonna have, to, if you don't have it installed, um, there's, you're gonna go to Google, and um, let's see, we're gonna do, uh, let's do Google extension, extensions. Okay, Chrome here, and then over here, you're gonna see this link here for chrome.google.com web store category extensions. So click on that. All right, this is taking a while to load. All right, so once you see this, you're gonna see this Chrome web store. In the search tab here, what I want you to do is put in Redux and enter. <laughs> wow, my network is really slow today. All right, should be loading any second now. All right. There we go. All right, so you're gonna see a list of uh, under extensions. I want you to click on this Redux Dev Tools. And mind you, just to let you know that I currently have this extension installed, but I just wanted to show you uh, the the way you would get there in, 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 on your machine in case you, you don't currently have it installed, all right? But this is the way you would install extensions onto your Chrome browser. All right, so right here, as you can see, as I mentioned, I have it, so it says remove from Chrome. I don't wanna do that, but you should, you should um, see the tab that uh, to tell you to install it if you don't currently have it, all right? So what this is is that this right here, this extension is gonna allow us to is it, once you have it installed, you're gonna be able to see a tab over here for Redux. And this is going to, uh, right now, is, you can see a message here for me that says no store found. I haven't created a store, so it's nothing to be shown. But know that over here, once we create the store and um, once everything's up and running and um, we dispatch actions, um, and properties are being changed throughout the application, we're gonna get a lot of info as to what's going on, um, the actions that are being dispatched and how properties are changing from, from one state to another um, based on the user's interaction of the application and all this good details. So, um, uh, so make sure you install that if you haven't, okay? And now I have um, a list of things I wanna do here and um, so let me go ahead and I'm going to install some packages here. I'm gonna open a new terminal window. And now that I mentioned, uh, I mentioned to you that Chrome DevTool extension for the browser, but we need to, uh, we, we also need to make, uh, bring in another package here uh, using NPM or Yarn, whichever one you're currently using. Um, so it's called, NP we're gonna do NPM install and it's called uh, Redux Dev tools extension okay so make sure you have that installed as well to allow that feature um, we're also going to need redux all right we're going to need react redux now redux is independent of any ui uh, framework that uh that that one wants to use is independent so we can use but because we're using redux uh, react uh, for the front end specifically, we need Redux. Uh, we need to install React Redux to let Redux know specifically which uh, what UI we're using. Okay, and 
the other one we're going to do is Redux Thunk. Redux Thunk is a middleware that's going to allow us to make, uh, turn our actions into functions. Okay. And uh, that should be it. Okay. So I'm going to press enter and it's going to go through a loading process. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So that's installing the packages. So while that's installing, I'm going to mark this off here. Um, you know what? Yeah, because this could take some time. So let me could proceed to the, to the next line. But as that's going on, we're going to do uh, move on to the next one. So we're going to create a Redux folder here. So inside your the client side folder, going to your source folder and inside the source folder, create a folder called Redux. And inside Redux, we're going to create a file and we're going to call it store dot js all right all right so let me mark this create the redux store and create store dot js all right um actually before we get to here we're gonna have to add some stuff to our store all right so the first thing we're gonna do is uh let's see should i wait or not let me just continue all right so i'm gonna do import all right, good. So I finished. All right, good, good, good. All right, cool. So now that that's installed, we can go ahead and close this terminal window here. And inside your store JS, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import something from, let's see, from Redux. Uh, let's see, I'm going to import a few things from Redux. And the first thing I'm going to need is, um, let's see, combine reducers. I'm going to need apply middleware and I'm going to need, uh, create store. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to need, uh, to import Redux thunk. So I'm going to import thunk from Redux, Redux thunk. And let's see here to create the store. I'm going to do a create a variable here called store. I want to make use of create store. And the store is going to take in, okay, let's see. We're gonna pass in three variables or three arguments. The first one is going to be a reducer. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do reducer and we're gonna combine reducers. And this reducer takes in an object and it's going to have all the reducers from all of our, um, yeah, it's gonna combine all of our, just like it's, it says here, combine reducers. So it's gonna bring in all of our reducers and bring them in together so we can make access them uh, much easier. Um, so we're gonna combine, so uh, let's see. I'm gonna leave this blank for now, uh, but we will be doing some, for example, I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna be doing some like loading. Uh, we're gonna call it a loading. And then it's gonna be, we're gonna have a reducer called loading reducer just like that okay so that'll be like the first one um, but for now let me empty that out all right so for for this first argument pass in reducer and then for the second one is going to be um, what was a oh yeah the initial state we're gonna have an initial state but by default it's gonna be an empty object okay I'm gonna pass that in right here initial state and then for the final one is going to be our middlewares. So I'm going to create another variable here and I'm going to call it um, middleware. Oh no, not apply middleware. Just middleware, middleware. And it's going to be an object or an array. And the first middleware we're going to have is thunk that's coming from here. Okay. But 
realistically we're gonna we could have multiple middlewares and and just uh separated by these commas here but for now all we have currently is thunk as a middleware and so what we're gonna do here is we're going to um oh yeah we're going to bring in import uh let's see did it uh, import from why is this currently here Dev tools, no. Combine reducer, apply middleware. Oh yeah, Up, no. Wait, let me. Yeah, let me do apply middleware. Wait, let me see how I did this. Apply middleware. Blank. Let me look at something here. Look at some documentation. Combine, uh, combine middleware, combine middleware, Redux. Apply middleware, I meant. Apply middleware. Okay, and we need to bring Redux Dev Tools extension to read to React. So let me see. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so compose with Dev Tools. Gotcha. There we go. All right. So here. Oh. Oh, but I got to bring this in here. So I'm going to copy this from the documentation here and go back here. So we need to import one more thing. So we need to import Compose with DevTools from Re, uh, Redux DevTools extension. All right. And what I'm going to do here, here for create store, the third argument, I'm going to do Compose with DevTools. And then inside here, I'm going to do Apply Middleware. And I'm going to spread out whatever we have in the middleware all right so i'm spreading out whatever is inside this right here currently it's just one uh one property so if we wanted to really we can just do just thunk like that however we want to make it um scalable like if in case we did want to uh, uh, add some other middleware so we're just going to spread out whatever's in that middleware just like so all right and then finally we're going to export uh default store all right just like that all right so that should be good okay so and then finally we need to wrap our entire redux store around the whole application so in order to make that happen we need to i'm going to open this index.js here and we're going to bring in let's see import we're going to import something from react redux and that something is something that's called a provider all right all right we're gonna it's a component called provider so what we're gonna do here is around um around this app here we're gonna wrap it with provider oh all right let me bring it let me copy this app here and bring it inside the provider just like so and this provider component takes is gonna take in a a property called store and we're gonna have to import store but I'm gonna have to import that first from I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bring in store first so import store from let's see when I have to go into um, the redux folder and then store just like so all right and so now we can pass in store just like so All right, so now if everything went well, which I'm having, I have my, there we go. Yep. 
as you can see that we now have if, here I have my tab redux open and you can see all this here so um, this is great because like over here you can see this actions tab here once actions are fired within um, like the components or anywhere that are called these action functions it's going to show up over here it's going to tell us exactly the functions uh the actions that are fired off and the state here it's going to it's going to give us uh information about the state and um the diff here is going to give us like the previous state to the new state like the difference in uh the properties and how they were changed and um so right now it's blank but this is exactly what we needed and um, and um, that's it for now. Um, so I will see you in the next video.